Our galaxy is 100 billion light years across. And that means there is a possibility, some would even say a probability, of life beyond Earth, including maybe even complex intelligent life. So last July, NASA's Perseverance rover found a leopard-spotted rock. They've, they've done the analysis on these leopard spots, um, and we, you know, we think they are potentially made by some sort of ancient life. Here is a selfie uh, that Perseverance took of itself. You can see a hole in the rock where that sample core was collected. When this image came down last summer, and what we saw in this rock were these layers of very fine-grained, rusty red mudstone that had in them these incredible features, these things that we took to calling poppy seeds, which are the sort of dark black spots in the rock, and leopard spots, which are these kind of ring-shaped features that have dark rims around them. These textural features told us that something really interesting had happened in these rocks. Some set of chemical reactions occurred. But the key thing to take note of is the fact that what we see in these spectra is something called a G-band, and that's pointed out uh, on the image. The, the G-band for us is a smoking gun indicator for the presence of organic matter in this mud. And we see that G-band in the Chayava Falls target, and we actually see it in a couple of the other locations that we interrogated around the Bright Angel Formation. And this tells us that we had a rusty red mud that was deposited in the presence of organic matter. So the next question for us was, was there some reaction occurring between the mud and the organic matter to give rise to those interesting poppy seed and leopard spot textures that we were seeing? What I'm showing you here is that the mud itself, which shows up in red in this uh, color uh, representation, is rich in iron. The things that are purple are rich in the elements iron and phosphorus. And that iron and phosphorus shows up in the poppy seeds and in the rims of those leopard spots. In the places where you can see sort of dull yellow to green tones, that's where iron and sulfur have been combined together. And what's exciting about these finds, this, this sort of combination of mud and organic matter that has reacted to produce these minerals and these textures, is that when we see features like this in sediment on Earth, these minerals are often the byproduct of microbial metabolisms that are consuming organic matter and making these minerals as a result of those reactions. NASA is encouraged by the fact that their peer reviewers are supporting their hypotheses regarding ancient life on the Red Planet, as anything approaching a scientific consensus can be brutally difficult to achieve.